Hello and welcome to Fire of Learning. I'm Justin. What is the primary language of Ireland? Well, the Irish primarily speak English. All right, now that we've cleared that up, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, oh, you want to know what the native language of Ireland is? All right, we can do that too. I've recently had a number of viewers asking about this. I've even seen some debate about it in the comments sections of my videos. The truth is, there are a number of misconceptions about language in Ireland and Celtic languages in general, really, because they don't receive the attention they deserve. Many people know that the Irish have their own native language, which is not English, but is that language called Irish, or is it Gaelic, or is it Celtic? Furthermore, are there different languages across the Celtic world, or is it all just one language? Furthermore, what is the difference between these terms, and what's the deal with this Irish language? Well, as the Irish say, Sholin. Before we begin, I would like to thank Johan Salaka, Christopher Kozad, Pierre Scheips, Jay Von Ord, Deluna85403, and Tinfoil Cross for being our most recent supporters on Patreon. They join these supporters who make these videos possible. So let's start off by saying the Irish language is called Irish. Not only is this term acceptable, but it is the preferred term. I wouldn't say that the term Gaelic is incorrect, but it's confusing and many people do not like the term, especially because there are three languages which call themselves Gaelic. Irish Gaelic, Manx Gaelic, and Scottish Gaelic. Scottish Gaelic is pronounced a bit differently, but has the same spelling and meaning. People naturally leave off the term Gaelic for Irish and Manx, however it is left on in Scottish Gaelic to distinguish it from a language called Scots, which is very similar to English and is not Celtic. Anyway, what about Celtic though? Does anyone speak Celtic? Well, not really, no. Celtic, as far as languages go, is the name of a language family, not a language in itself. It would be a bit like asking, does anyone speak Germanic? Well, people speak Germanic languages, like English, German, and Dutch. Linguists do speak of a proto-Germanic language, but Germanic itself is not a language, and neither is Celtic. Likewise, in the Celtic language family, you have Irish, Scottish Gaelic, Welsh, and Breton as the genuinely living languages, though the only one that isn't endangered is Welsh, and none are the majority language in their respective regions. There are also some Celtic tongues which were near death, but are now making a comeback, namely Manx and Cornish. And of course, some, or rather many, extinct Celtic languages, such as Gaulish and Galatian. Linguists have, of course, further subdivisions of the Celtic language family. They may be divided into an insular family, referring to the languages that developed in the British Isles, from the Latin insula, which means island, and the continental family, languages which remained on the continent. All of the Celtic languages still spoken today are insular, even Breton. Breton is descended from Celts who fled Britain during the Anglo-Saxon conquest following the fall of the Western Roman Empire. It's much more like Welsh and Cornish than the ancient Gaulish language. Then there are two subcategories of the insular languages, Brythonic or P-Celtic languages referring to Welsh, Breton, and Cornish, and Goidelic, also called Q-Celtic languages referring to Scottish Gaelic, Manx, and of course Irish. Goidelic languages are also called the Gaelic languages for reasons which we discussed a minute ago. These two language groups, Brythonic and Goidelic, likely developed from separate waves of Celtic migrations to the British Isles. So who were these original Gaelic speakers, or Gaels? The Gaels were an ethno-linguistic group native to Ireland that spread to Scotland and the Isle of Man beginning in the 4th century AD. The Scottish Gaelic language is derived from these people, not the famous Picts with whom the Romans struggled historically. There was a language, or perhaps languages, called Pictish, which was presumably a Brythonic language, but is long extinct. Furthermore, the Scotty, the people from which we get the name Scotland, were settlers whose ancestors came from Ireland originally. One kingdom in particular, Dal Riada, was crucial to this story and the development of the languages. This kingdom extended from Ireland into much of Western Scotland, influencing its linguistic development. Alright, hopefully now the Celtic language family tree and Irish's place on that tree is now clearer. 
Irish is a Goidelic or Gaelic language, which is a branch of the Celtic languages. Now then, having established that, let's now turn back to Irish specifically. Irish was the predominant language of Ireland for most of its history. English was spread to Ireland in the late Middle Ages as the Normans invaded the island, though the spread was very limited. The Normans themselves, though they were the rulers of England, spoke a dialect of Old French, but of course the English language did follow them and spread alongside them. However, it wasn't really until the 16th century that the Irish began to truly lose their independence to the English. Regardless, the Irish language still lived on as the main language of the island for a few more centuries, but by the late 18th and 19th centuries, English really began to not only become the main language, but became so commonly spoken that it threatened the Irish language's existence itself. Ireland was, in this time, firmly a part of the British Empire. Climbing the social ladder meant knowing the empire's language. Furthermore, conditions in Ireland were harsh. Famine struck the lower classes, who knew the least amount of English especially hard, and as many Irish felt that they may be destined to emigrate to English-speaking countries like the United States or Canada, learning English became even more important. As time passed, Irish became practically a foreign language to its own people as fewer and fewer people bothered with it. Today, the Republic of Ireland has a population of around 5 million people. The language is also spoken in Northern Ireland as well. Around 1.7 million people claim to know it as a second language. That's fairly strong, it's certainly a better situation than Scottish Gaelic, spoken by only 1% of Scotland's population, and Manx, which has only recently been resurrected from the dead. However, it is important to keep in mind that only around 10% or 500,000 people in Ireland claim to speak Irish on a weekly basis and less than 100,000 people speak Irish on a daily basis. It is holding on in large part thanks to a linguistic revival movement. The Irish language's unfortunate situation is that it is geographically placed right next to the world's most dominant language, and so there is a strong incentive for English to remain dominant in Ireland as well. There are certainly a minority of people, mainly in the regions of Ireland, shown here called the Gaeltachty, where Irish is spoken more often than English, but it's unlikely that there is anyone in Ireland who speaks only Irish and not English. And so that is essentially Irish in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I invite you to come check out the rest of Fire Learning and to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future, especially my History of Ireland documentary. We would appreciate donations on Patreon to help with the cost of producing these videos, the link to which you can find in the description. You can support the channel with as little as a $1 contribution, however, simply subscribing to our YouTube channel for free is also a large help. A special thanks to our Patreon supporters listed here. We are also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so come check us out there too. Grav for watching.